frame is 16 feet wide, but I need some supports that are longer, about 25 feet. So I'm overlapping these two, and I marked this so, uh, right there, and that's where we're going to screw this together. So I'm clamping it, and I'm going to throw a screw in here, then I'll clamp the other side, throw another screw in, and the goal then will be to lift the whole thing up. I'll center it on the array. Good daddy? Yes, I'm good. Are you good? And hopefully the holes line up. Look at that. Perfection. Woo! The holes line up. This is the bolt and nut that I'm using. The nut has a serrated flange on it. And these are just left over from another project. Didn't cost me anything. Now when I set the next piece on top, it's going to go like that and have an additional support to keep from rolling down. I put the upper beam on first and I realized that there was a little bit of flex in here. So if I pull on it, you can see that flex. And I didn't like that. So on the bottom beam, I added these additional brackets down here. So you swing around. If I put my weight on, on these, you can see there's no flex at all. And so I like that a lot more. Uh, so I'll take off the upper beam and add some brackets up here. A little bit more work, but uh, I'll, I'll sleep better at night. <laughs> All the brackets are set. Now I can put the upper beam back in place.
Now, if I built everything perfect, then all I need to do is make sure that the overhang on both sides is equal, and then I'll be square. <laughs> but things are never perfect, so I'm gonna pull my diagonals and shift the upper one left or right a little bit as needed to make sure that it is square. Okay, the first diagonal I pulled was 25 feet, nine and five eighths. Now for the second diagonal, pull this, and 25 feet and 10 inches. So all I have to do is move the upper beam to the right about a quarter of an inch. I'll be adding additional supports that the solar panels will be mounted to. I have to mark out where all those supports are gonna go. So I measured it out on this uh, just random piece of angle that I had. Uh, where each one's going to go. That way I can move this down the line and duplicate the numbers repeatedly. All the holes are drilled and spray painted for the uh, rails that'll go on here. Okay, these are the rails. They're extruded aluminum. They're actually an old Iron Ridge version. Uh, Iron Ridge now has a newer version that's kind of an oblong, oval-ish shape. Uh, so these are an old version. And we're just gonna put these on using the extrusions themselves, uh, some of this hardware. So this is some of the stainless steel hardware. There's this washer, which goes inside the extrusion. Then there's this little uh, hex head uh, bolt. And I have some washers on here. And we'll just put these together. going to use this inside the groove to stop the washer from flowing all the way down. So. And then I'm looking through this hole and I'm going to line up the threads. So if you can take a look at this, there's a hole here. All right, so there's a hole here and if I go over till I'm in the groove, and then I slide up, I can line that hole. And now I'll put the bolt in.
There we go. And so now that's tightened in and uh, I'll go back and uh, really crank down on all of them, tightening them up. I was getting just a little bit of flex on these outriggers, so I added a diagonal support on each end and now that it's a lot stiffer than it was. The base is all done, it's plenty strong enough, nothing is wiggling, nothing shifting around at all. We have these aluminum rails, uh, they're going to be ready to take these solar panels which I'll be uh, installing on the next video, but the light's fading so I got to pack up tonight. Uh, I'm really happy that I added these outriggers, uh, these diagonals specifically to the outriggers because that really stiffened them up, uh, as well as these additional uh, brackets that I put underneath the purlins. Uh, they really stiffened it up as well uh, because I did this whole thing out of salvaged material uh, which is this salvaged Z channel so you know I, I probably should have had like a four inch galvanized pipe or something like that which would have been stiffer but by adding these additional brackets we really stiffened everything up uh, so it's gonna work out great for us now remember I'm doing this whole thing really cheap because I got the material salvaged uh, all I really had to do is buy a pack of screws or a can of spray paint so we're really talking less than a hundred dollars uh, additional money compared to the ground mount that I had out front where I already had the panels I already had the rails I'm moving them from the front yard back here so I really wanted to do this ground mount as cheaply as possible so thank you everybody very much for watching uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the links in the description below, including the Patreon page that really does help out a lot. Thank you.